Yo, what's up, everybody? It is Paddy Kills here. Bring you guys a brand new video. And we're back with another video of the Connect Franchise Mode Episode 2. Um, but uh, we're back. And hope you guys are liking the thumbnail. It actually worked really, I actually worked really, really hard on the thumbnail. Currently, right now, we're sitting fifth. I'm uh, just going to get into this game against the San Jose Sharks. We're actually uh, a couple points be behind Arizona. Arizona is rock good, which is very, very surprising because they're not doing too good this season. Arizona is last, but maybe if they're all healthy, they can do good. So, Bodker gets a goal, and Tram can shoot out, and Brent Burns at Pavelski. So, Burns actually wins it in the shootout. We do lose, but we do pick up a point, which not too shabby for me. But, um, obviously, we have to go all the way back to arena facilities. Uh, again, the owner happiness is pretty damn low, but I, I hate this. I, might I should just turn this off, honestly. But, uh, repair, um, repair, which needs repairs? Which one needs repairs the most? Um, this one needs repairs for sure. Um, can I repair legit everything? How much money do we have? I just repaired everything. That's, that's good, but, um, we're just gonna get back. And I was supposed to go to school today, but I didn't because I legit have no ride. Oops, not that button. So, I'm so happy uh fuck i just clicked advanced day i'm so happy i actually don't have to go to school today which is very very exciting because i can just stay home make some videos for you guys we're to simulate up to this game against the los angeles kings but we're doing 25 20 and 10 we're actually almost at a playoff spot which is surprisingly good ahl team is not doing too bad tanif has been injured one of our best defensemen all right a 5-1 win against the Sh uh, kings um and holy damn it we actually i want to see this guy he's a defenseman before i do claim him 26 79 overall okay this could be a defenseman that can bring depth to the team honestly i do i will actually claim him so i did claim a defenseman um all right so keep current ticket prices i really don't care um but we do lose against the Anaheim Ducks, 4-2. to two. So, Burroughs is actually injured. We're actually getting so many injuries right now, which is really, really painful. But I know I might actually have to make a few trades at the trade deadline. Uh, but the trade deadline already passed. We didn't make that many trades. You guys didn't really ask me to trade anybody. So, we're basically going to try to complete the year. And we got Ryan Stannon. I'm actually going to see. I don't really think I'm going to take him. Yeah, like, we already have a good defenseman. Like, I don't want to claim defensemen. If it was a four, I probably would have claimed them. All right, now we have to edit the scouting. I think I've scouted basically everywhere except for the United States. I'll go six weeks forwards. So, a game against the Boston Boons. Uh, Ryan Spooner coming home to Boston. And we are going to have a 6 nothing win. Tanev is back, which is definitely good to see. We're gaining locker room chemistry, which is definitely, definitely good to see. Um, 80 locker room chemistry is really, really good. Uh, HL team's not even doing that bad, honestly. I might think they're actually in a playoff spot. I have no clue. But a game against the Chicago Blackhawks. Um, we're versing the Chicago Blackhawks. Sedin is also available to play next game, which is very, very good. A 3-2 win against the Blackhawks. We're versing the Blues. And Sedin doesn't look too, too happy. A 2-1 win. We actually have a three-game winning streak. And we are actually doing beyond 500. So we're actually doing average. To be honest with you. Alright, we do lose against the Anaheim Ducks. But holy damn. We are 33-32-11. That might be a playoff spot, guys. I have no clue. Maybe we're sitting fourth place. Or even third, I'm not sure. The Pacific Division hasn't really been that good. I mean, in the Pacific right now, it's been very, very close. And we're sitting fourth in the up. Uh, if this will ever load, I think we're sitting fifth behind. Yeah, this is not even loading. I'll just go check myself. But we're fifth behind Anaheim. Okay, so we Anaheim's on to us, which is not that bad. But Louis Erickson, 61 points. Uh... And Matt, I wish Louis Erickson was doing this in real life. And he's only played 76 games. Louis Erickson's actually on a roll uh, right now. I think 76, yeah, he's doing really, really well. 41 assists. 88 overall. We got Bo Horvath, 53 points. 
also doing very, very good. Uh, S Daniel Sedin, Sam Berchi, Henrik Sedin, who's been injured. Spooner has been actually a really, really good pickup. If you can just get like 45 points or even 50 points a year with Spooner, I think that's a good trade to make. Sutter, 40. I mean, the guys I really, really wanted to pick up, I actually do want... What is... Where is he? I do want... Um, uh, Vertanen to step it up. Vertanen, like, I might just throw him back in the AHL, honestly, or trade Jake Vertanen for a good piece, because I really don't think we need Jake Vertanen, but let's see where we're doing in the entire... Now, let's go look at the Western Conference, which teams are leading it. So, yeah, we are 10th in the West, which is pretty damn awesome. But let's just get, game, get into this game against the LA Kings. So... Oh my god, it's just taking so long for load. Ah, thank god. Like, NHL 17 has been very, very laggy recently. But, alright, let's go. I actually think we may make the playoffs, honestly. We have 76 out of 82 games. We might make it to the playoffs. I am not sure. So, second period, third period, overtime. I mean, pardon me. Uh, Overtime is now Skilly Edler. I think we're going to lose this. We always lose in the shootout. Yep, Jeff Carter scores. Um, but we did pick up a point, though, which is definitely, definitely good. Sedin's not, the Sedin's aren't too happy right now. I mean, Daniel's happy, but Henrik isn't really, really happy. Again, the loading is so bad right now. Holy crap. EA Sports, fix your servers, goddamn. Like, yeah, it's freaking laggy. It never lags this much. I honestly think this might just turn out bad, but... We're in the mar we're in the April and we're just gonna simulate up to this last game against the Oilers. We actually I don't know, we could either do very, very bad in these next games or we can do very, very good. I really don't care, honestly. I mean it'll be awesome if we made the playoffs, but um again the difficulties on hard and everything. Um but I do want to get a good first round pick. And we just got back to back losses. And I, uh, if we're going to make the playoffs, we're going to have to win all three of these games. A 4 2 win against the Coyotes. Uh, what about against the Oilers? If we win this game, we actually might make it to the playoffs. All right. 35 33. If we, I think if we win this game, we might be a guaranteed playoff spot. This is a, this is a, this is a battle for the playoffs. Pouliot, Spooner, and Henricks. And a 4-3 loss against the Oilers, which definitely does suck. But before we do simulate, I actually want to check if we did make it to the playoffs. I want to check if we did make it to the playoffs and check all the final stats. I'm pretty sure the final stats... Alright guys, so we did not make it to the playoffs. I mean, it was definitely a good run for us. We actually were 5th. Uh, Anaheim also did not make it. That means Essential had a very, very good year. Um, so we did not make it to the playoffs, which definitely sucks, but hey, maybe we can get a good first round pick. So 65 points for Louis Erickson, 82 games played. Louis Erickson played every single game and had 65 points. Actually, very, very happy what he performed. Uh, Bo Horvat did very, very well. Bo Horvat's going to be the future for this team. Henrik Sedin, on the other hand, 85 overall for Henrik. Oh my goodness, Sedin's not been happy this year. I may have to go talk to Daniel. Daniel's not been happy. He's usually at an 87. He's just not doing good. Oh yeah, you guys want me to show the entire league? I'll show you guys the entire league scoring really, really, really fast. There you go. Tavares with 89 points. Patrick Kane with 81. So Kane's having a good year. Not that many points scored this year, to be honest with you. Yeah, this year did not have that many points. Louis Erickson actually plays pretty good. Uh, yeah, but yeah, there wasn't that much scoring this year, which definitely makes sense. But I think I have to go talk to uh, Henrik Sedin. All right player morale i need to go talk to daniel i mean henrik sedin he's not happy with us like sedin i mean all these guys they're going down um i don't even know where henrik sedin's at i don't even think he wants to talk to me he doesn't even look at doesn't even want to look at my face but yeah he is currently mad frustrated and i think i think i want to motivate them but it did actually make a lot of people pissed off too so i think i just screwed up big time Oh my god, dude. Wait. Erickson. Alright. Guys, so I don't know if I should really uh, if I should trade Henrik Sedin. He is supposed to be an 88. He's an 84 currently. He's pissed at, at us. Maybe it's time to trade him. I'm not too sure. 
uh you guys tell me in the comment section below but we're actually gonna go simulate um up to the draft um basically we're gonna go simulate up to the draft real fast i go all the way to june we're actually gonna go simulate up to the draft and we failed again so i think we might get fired honestly i honestly think we possibly could be fired from the J general manager spot again i'm pretty sure i did better than jim benny i actually could become a good general manager of the vancouver canucks because we did be fifth in the pacific and right now the canucks are doing pretty good right now in the in the real real life hockey i think they're doing pretty pretty good but i don't know if they will even match or close in it what i'm doing right now but i'm pretty sure the playoffs are on for the unica comets and um right now they're 2-2 two, two, so let's see if the unica comets can actually hold this game off all right so brandon gaunt's got injured for the unica comets and i think we're out the hl team did very very well this year i'm not even mad with the hl team's performance this season they did very very good um all right oh no honestly even if they go out on the first round i honestly do care a little but hey they did very very well and they deserve so much credit for what they are doing <laughs> all right uh let's just go back to scouting i want to actually scout So I'm looking at everything, and I'm going to go scout the rest of the world, and I'm going to go with Fords. I'm going to go with two weeks, the rest of the world. Honestly, I want to see, maybe we can get some good steals, people from Japan, whatever, but. Alright, guys, so we're going to go up to the draft. And I'll see you guys there. And guys, you guys have been killing the support recently on my uh, channel. So Tampa Bay did win the Stanley Cup. Iowa Wild won the Calder Cup. Tampa Bay, they probably had a very, very good year with Stamco's healthy and everything. But honestly, I don't think that will ever happen in real life. For the next two or three years, I don't think Tampa is going to even get close. But the lottery draft have come in. We actually got the eighth overall pick in the draft. That was actually pretty damn lucky. Uh... Eighth overall pick. Now let's go view retired players real fast. I don't think nobody retired for us, which who gives a damn. But let's go to all players. Jerome McGinley has retired. Stay with my boy Marion Hosa. Hosa had a great year. Look at those stats. Those are, and he had three Stanley Cups. That's actually very very good for Hosa. Um, I'm not saying that many big name players. Obviously, all these guys are. Some of these guys may be Hall of Famers. All right, uh, yeah, I think, I don't see, like, everybody, I thought Mark, yeah, like, all these guys are, like, AHL bottom pairing players. All right, let's see who had the most goals, yeah, see, like, these are the guys that had the most goals, but let's go to goalies. I know sometimes there's a lot of good goaltenders that retire, so no goalies retired this year, which is definitely surprising. All right, guys, we're going to go start the draft up right now. So we're definitely going to start up the draft. And obviously, maybe we should try to get up some spots. I'm thinking Arizona 6th. But uh, we'll just basically sim to our pick. 8th pick is not that bad, honestly. And we just got offered a huge trade. That is right. Nashville Predators have offered us Henrik Sedin. Henrik Sedin. I'm going to decline this trade because I want to see where Nashville is in the draft. Alright guys, for me looking at the draft lotteries, Nashville is currently 20th. And I don't know if we should give them that pick, but it's our pick. Uh, we're going to make this pick real fast. Um, Alright, I want to make a good pick, a future overall pick. And I see exact elite. Maybe that's what we're going to go with. Or Matthew Strom. All right, guys, so Matthew Strom will be a top nine or exact lead in Rasmillan. All right, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with uh, uh, Strom. 
I think I'm gonna go with Strom, but best exact. Yeah, Strom is the best player. But maybe we can get Rastlin too. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely I'm definitely gonna go with uh, Matt Matt Strom. Matthew Strom, he's the top pick. I'm gonna go with Matthew Strom on this one. I know that could have been a controversial pick, but let's just go look at the first pick. Nolan Patrick. All right, we actually got a good pick. All right, guys. Now I'm gonna try to trade Carolina's pick. Um. I'm definitely going to try to trade Henrik Sedin now. This may be a stupid decision. I know you guys are going to be like, what the heck is he doing? But I'm going to see if I can get Alexander Edler straight up one-on-one -on -one for that pick. And they do reject. Like, I do want that player. For defensively, I think we're already that really, really strong for defensively. Um, oh, this is actually very, very hard. I'm, like, looking at... Oh, it's like these players can be future players. I don't think this guy would. He's a good prospect, but for that guy I saw. All right, so they do still reject this. I just want to try to make this trade work. Maybe trade a first round pick down in the road, but um, I do want to dump some salary cap. But all right, so I'm already looking at some picks, and I might just try to trade a good. All right, so I'm looking at our this first round pick, and then probably a second round pick in the future years to come, um, and of probably a fifth. Maybe that can possibly work out. And they do reject still. Maybe we can trade that fifth for a fourth. This year's fourth. This year's all right. We'll do this year's fourth, and this year's se uh, next year's seventh. And they do reject, so they're not willing to trade that pick. All right, so they're not gonna be willing to trade that pick, but uh, simulate option. Let's just sim this pick. Do they take that guy? And yes, yes, they do. Oh my goodness, they picked this guy. This guy is actually. I don't know if I made the right decision by picking him, but I'm gonna go on to our next pick. But uh, yeah. So, Nashville keeps on offering us their overall pick. Honestly, I don't care. I don't want that their year first. I would have taken it if it was 15th or something like that, but I don't want it. So, look at the trade. It looks like Zetterberg was traded, which I'm surprised. All right. So, the third round pick, seventh. So, we didn't get no second picks. We did trade that off to Boston, which definitely does suck. <sighs> yeah, yo, I don't have school. All right. So, I'm already looking at the players really, really fast. Um... Honestly, I'm looking at all these players, and the best player right now would be this dude right here. But I do need a future goaltender, so I'm going to go to goalies real fast. Alright, but I might pick up this goalie later in the round, but I'm going to go back to all players. I pick up this good defense, but he's exact, but he's... He's not that bad, if you ask me. All right, let's go back to our next pick. All right, guys, we're still in the fourth round. Pick number seven. Who do we pick here? Guys, I might just have to go with projected. All right, so this guy's a medium other D. Um, all right, so I'm already looking at some of these players. Now, this guy's 20, currently 20. I don't really want to take a risk. Uh, we have, I have, we have no idea about that player now. Price, on the other hand, we know how this guy is. Um, we've scouted him, and he's not that fast of a player, but. Uh, this guy, on the other hand, we have no question who the heck this guy is. He's from Russia. Uh... Alright, guys. So, I'm honestly just looking at these players. And I might just go with the best potential player. Um... 
This guy's a two-way forward. I might just go with him. He's a top nine forward. I'm definitely just going to go with him. I mean, that might have been a stupid pick. I don't know what you guys think, but we're going to go into the fifth round really, really fast. All right, guys. So we're in the fifth round. Pick number seven in the fifth round. Let's see what overall pick we're going to be. What player we're going to be getting, obviously. Um... Now, this, we are already stacked with defense. I might just go look at the goal. Yeah, I see the goaltenders really, really fast. I see Valahan right now at the best of the goaltenders. I'm going to look at this Russian goaltender and see his stats. We have, we have no clue who this guy is. But what about Valahan? We have no clue. But Valahan's 20. This kid is 19. He has medium AHL backup. He has low AHL. This is where you really, really need some good goaltenders, honestly. I might just go with potential. Yeah, I might just go with potential. Well, Potential-wise, this kid right now is saying that he's the best potential-wise. Okay, he's 18 years old. He plays in the United States. He's, he doesn't have that bad stats. Um, He's actually really he's high and high in puck control and medium athletics. He's actually really, really good. He's a five-star athletic goaltender. But what about Velahan? I don't know. Velahan, we have no clue. I've 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 actually played with Velahan before. But honestly, this guy's I might just go with Velahan because he's yeah, I'm gonna go with Velahan. I've used him before. He's not that bad. He actually turned out to be 82 last year. Maybe he Yeah, he's a medium fringe starter. That's actually not that bad. Medium fringe starter. Maybe you never know. Maybe he can be your number one goaltender. But we do need that. I don't think we're gonna have Ryan Miller next year or whatever due to loss to free agency but i know this is going to be taking up a lot of you guys' time and i understand this might be a little bit boring so this is the final pick of the draft it will basically simulate the draft round number seven honestly if like we're probably gonna get a pretty pretty crappy player here if we do get a good player it, i don't know like we might get a good player i might just go look at that goaltender again but all right i'm gonna go back to exact and all right, exact AHL starter. All right, but I'm looking at these guys, and I look at this Jeremy kid, and I'm seeing, is this kid, this kid actually could become something. He's 89 speed. I'm going to pick this German player up. I mean, that might be a stupid pick, but you don't lose that much stuff from that pick, but I'm actually going to sim the entire draft now. But, uh, yeah, basically, we're actually done with the draft now. And we can go on to free agency. So we picked up about one, two, three, four, five players, which weren't too bad of players. Obviously, Strom was the best one there. Strom is our future. Uh, he is definitely our future. Now let's just go back to the resign phase and see who we're gonna be resigning. But we actually have a lot of players to resign. We only have six million in cap. Holy macaroni! We're gonna see maybe. All right, so we have to go back to contracts. We're going to go to contracts. I'll go to all contracts. And we're going to go with uh, centers. We're going to start off with centers. And Marcus Granlin still has another deal. So does this kid. This guy, Henrik City, is a UFA next year. All right, Suter, Sutter. This, this guy, I don't know. I might actually sign this guy to a contract. A very very cheap contract this guy this guy may be something cool castles all right now or here are the rfas this is this is bad all right let's just go with bo horvat what does bo horvat want all right so what if we go eight years seven say six years he wants three nine i'll give him three nine three point nine million for the next six years that's actually a really really good deal we'll keep him up until he's 20 years old all right, I'm just going to offer him that contract. Um, all right, guys, now for Michael Chaput. Um, I don't know about Michael Chaput. What about for the next... All right, for the next three years, I'll give him that much for Chaput. All right, now... This guy, HL, I might just offer him what he wants. So, yeah, that's what he wants. So I just, I'll just give it to him. All right, now Jason Megma. All right, Bob McKenzie... 20 years old 65 overall we, we'll, we'll lock you up on a deal all right jason magna um give you a deal for that for one year ryan spooner oh my god this guy needs a deal all right what about for the next six year five okay for four years he wants that much 
we'll give him that much for the next four years. That's until he's 29, so it's not that bad for him. Um, all right, now, honestly, this guy's an RFA. I might just qualify him on uh, this guy. Uh, I'm going to give him what he wants. I might just give him a little bit less. Yeah, that's what he wants, but yeah. Left wingers, Sam Bertrys. Okay, we got everybody here locked up, basically. We got this guy, 23 years of age, 80 overall, Ryan Booch. This guy is actually really, really good. I'm going to see if I can actually lock this guy up for the long term. No, he wants a lot of money. I'll just go two years, two million, what he wants. Um, this guy can become a future player for us, definitely. I think we're going to have to make this guy our left wing. All right, guys, now... Burroughs, how much does Burroughs get paid? I want to see Burroughs' contract right now. Burroughs is like, he's a very, very cheap player. But honestly, what's the point of keeping him? I feel like releasing Burroughs from the Canucks. I mean, this may be a bad decision. But honestly, I'm going to actually give him a, a, a contract for another year. So he can stay as a Vancouver Canucks. Brennan Gauntz needs a deal. And then Matthew Strom. So we're definitely going to give Matthew Strom's a deal for three years. Uh, 57 overall right now. He's currently 18. You never know. He could become a star player in the next two years for us. All right, Brendan Gauntz. What about this guy? All right, we'll give him that deal. All right, same with this dude. We just give them what they want right now, but... All right, I'm going to release this player. All right, going to right wingers. Um, Dorset. I really don't like Dorset, honestly. Hansen. All right, so we already have our top three right wingers. And all these guys are AHL people. And I don't really want Jack Skilly for another year. So I'm actually going to release Jack Skilly. I know that may be a little bit bad. But everybody's morale is going down. I'm going to give Rodin another contract. He can actually play NHL minutes actually. I'm actually surprised. He can actually take Dorset's spot. Alright now this dude. I'll let him play a little bit more. Uh, I'll offer you a deal. Three years. Whatever you want. Grenier. A qualified Grenier. Now going to defenseman's. We got the big mans locked up for a few more years. But we only we only got these guys who are still looking for a contract. We'll see what you want, my man. Alright. He wants the lowest price, which is pretty good. Alright, so um Eric Gabranson. Alright, Eric Gabranson's the guy that wants a lot of money. He wants big, big money. I mean, for the way he's playing, I really don't want him to give... I don't really want to give him that much money. So, he wants a little bit more. Where's the cheapest? The cheapest is at... Alright. The cheapest is actually at three years. And that's what he wants. I'll just give him that. But, uh, Eric Branson, I think I'm overpricing the dude. Um, I don't really think he's going to be that kind of a player. Philip Larson, I'll give him that much. He, he's a good AHL person. Oh, all right, Nikita Tramkin wants a deal. This is bad. Tramkin, I want you locked up on my team long term. What I mean long term, I definitely mean long term. I want Tramkin on this team for the next six years. He will actually, he can actually become a really, really good player. I'm gonna give Tramkin what he wants in two point. I'll give him two point five million. I'll see if he set, accepts that deal. Padan qualify. Oh my god, this is painful going through all these. Alright, uh, I'll qualify you too, man. Honestly, I'd really, I really would just want to release these guys. Like, this guy, I'll just release you, man. You, you can go find a better team to play with. Alright, so... Yeah, I think... Uh, and you too, man. McNeil? No, no, no. I know this guy. McNeil can become a very, very good player. I'm going to give you three years at what you want. Alright, guys. So, I'm pretty sure I offered everything except for this guy. I'm going to qualify you too. I've offered every person a contract. Goalies right now. We've got every goalie locked up here. Treacher Demku, 21 years of age, 74 overall. Markstrom. All right, so now Richard Bachman. I'm actually going to release Richard Bachman. Um, yeah, so I'm going to sign this dude. Offer a contract. Uh, all right, guys. So Ryan Miller also needs a deal. Now, what does Ryan Miller want? So Ryan Miller, I'm actually going to release Ryan Miller as well. I know this is going to get the morale down, but Villahan, welcome to the team, my man. So Ryan Miller is off the team, so we already see our future goaltenders right now, which is definitely going to be a problem. So we already offered everybody contract. 
we're just gonna have to simulate to free agency maybe we can get some good free agency pickups whatever but um to be honest with you we might i might consider going for the top free agent so spooner accepted larson rodin tramkin gaunt burrows gabranson chapat horvat Boucher. all right i think all right you All right, so these guys, we have a full roster, really? Oh my god, we have a full, we have a full team then. <laughs> we actually have a full team, which means we're actually gonna go have to make a trade. All right, before we do the free agency, we have to go trade a couple players for like seventh round picks, but I'm gonna see with Anaheim what we can do because I do, want to get rid of these players because I want some roster spots with us so draft picks I'll take next year's seventh for a couple players that are probably never going to make it to the NHL um these players are probably going to be crappy players um all right so I'm looking at Jason Megma I might just give away Jason Megma to you guys 101 that's a good deal to accept now I want to make a team but I'm going to go to Chicago really, really fast and see if I can actually go to draft picks and see if I can take away their seventh pick for a bad player. Like, I'm Jason make my left the team. I'm thinking about this guy to also leave the team so we can just bring in some draft picks and they're definitely going to accept that. And I think that might be good. We got, we got rid of two spots. Go sign some free agents. We can probably only sign two free agents right now. Um, I don't know why the morale is going down. Like that guy did nothing for the team. All right, now looking at the team. So the two best people are overall wise this year was not a good year. Is the Benjad and Tyler Johnson. So this was a shit year for draft uh, draft picks. Maybe we could go for a goalie and see who's the best goaltender. Maybe Bishop. Alright, the best goaltender this year is Ryan Miller. So this year. Damn, this year was not a good year. Um for the draft. But I might actually pick up Scott Darling. Um, I'm gonna pick up Scott Darling for one year. He's a really, really good player. Alright. How much room do we have? I forgot how much room we have. We have four million in cap space. No way we're gonna sign these big guys. Maybe we can sign one of these guys. Chris Ru Chris Russell. Uh all right, you know what? I'm actually going to pick up. All right, this guy. He's 83. He's 24. William Carlson. We'll pick this guy up. And this year's third. I don't really want to give up a third. Patrick Berlin. All right, guys. So I might just go for this guy. I'm going to go with Simmon. Alexander Simmon. One. I'm going to go with what he want from. He actually wants way more for one year. So I'm. I'm gonna actually have to pick him up for three years, which definitely sucks. So Simmons gonna be on the team for three years, which sucks. Uh, he, he's asking for way more for uh, more years, but I think that's it for the for the free agency this year. I really don't think we're gonna actually have that many good players this year for free agency. Yeah, I think that's the I think that's it. You know, this is sim to next season. I really don't want to pick up that many agents, free agents. Scott Darling's on the team, and Simmer rejected. My goal is to win, and I don't think this team is going to be the position with anytime soon. Perhaps more money will change my mind. So, Simmon, we're going to have to stop simulating because we're going to have to sign more free agents. Darling's going to be the backup next year. Simmon wants to win, which it definitely sucks that we can't pick up Simmon. Uh... So Alexander Simmons is still there now. I'm already. I'm looking at Patrick Berlin, Berglin. How much does he want? So what's cheaper? To two years, four point four million. I'm gonna give Berglin that for two years. I'm gonna see if he comes to the team. I definitely do want uh, one of these veteran players so they can help the young guys out. But we're at 91 offense. Only problem right now for our team is probably the goaltending. So Berglin says I don't think the team's going in the direction I want to. So yeah, these guys don't want to come to the team. Which sucks these guys definitely don't want to come to my team it definitely sucks but i uh, hope you guys enjoy this video
hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys on my next video uh remember to hit the like button please subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video